So is it weird kind of being back here knowing that you did this a year ago? Uh, it's kind of weird, you know, looking from the outside, looking from the outside. Last year I was actually the one doing the drill, so, uh, but I had to show these guys I support them and I love them and that, you know, just being there for them could, could mean a lot. And I saw you earlier you're kind of showing Brandon a couple of things like on the shuttle drill and stuff. What You're giving him tips today? What were you doing? Uh, he kind of knows our tips. We, Brandon and I train together the whole offseason. So he kind of knows. I was just making sure he remembered him. So I, I know he knows what he's doing. He's out here. He's confident, and he's going to give it all he got. Were you here when uh, Jeff Whitaker was bench pressing? Were you in, were you in there then? Uh, I actually wasn't, but I heard he did it 41 times. And uh, I mean, I always knew Jeff was strong, but 41, that's another story. I mean, yeah, no, I don't think anyone at the combine put up those numbers. What do you think that says about him, especially everything that he's been through here, you know, like with all the injuries and everything? How, what do you think that meant for him? That Jeff is such a humble person, and he works very hard. And Jeff is always there to help somebody else, and he's such a great leader. He's been like the grandfather of the team, so I know how Jeff is as a person. So me coming here and seeing him work hard today is just a, that's him every day. Jeff is the type of person, he may not be the best at something, but he gives it everything he has. All right, so you have one year of NFL under your belt now. Talk to me about what, what, what was the season like for you? Uh, the season was great. You know, it was just, it was an experience, you know, helped me get my feet wet, like I got my feet wet. And now I know what to expect going into next year and gave me, it's like a confidence booster. When you scored your first touchdown, you have to know that everyone from Auburn was obviously cheering for you. Um, what was that feeling like? It's hard to explain that with words because, I mean, when I crossed that line, it was a different feeling. It was like the start of a new life, and, and we got to keep it going from here now. You, you, you touch the paint and you sniff it. It's like a shark with blood. Get some more. <laughs> so what are you doing now in your offseason? Uh, training hard and continue to work hard because I need to be the best. So do you still kind of have that? You had a lot of motivation here, I think, at Auburn because a lot of people were kind of downplaying you a little bit. I think like, oh, like he's not, like whatever, you know, all the naysayers. Do you feel like that same kind of chip on your shoulder motivation in the NFL too? Uh, I hope not anymore. I hope not. I mean, I don't, I'm going to continue to prove on the field. That's the only way I can really talk about it. I let my play do the talking for me. All right. <laughs> Anything else? Mm, where you go? Where you go? Always. <laughs> Thanks Always. so much.